Okay. Don't want to get that wound infected. I guess so. Weapon. This is a weapons case. Yes, it is. So, I am not sure what your skills entail, so I'm going to hand you a sniper as well. Give me a weapon. I can put a bullet in anything you want me to. Good enough. You still have the revolver from earlier. Right here. This is gonna be early. awesome. Okay, that should be good enough for you. Yep. Where'd you get that from? I guess I should explain. Dr. Schwartz has been helping me a little bit. I helping too have been hunting the Wendigo. What are you talking about? I've been meeting him here at this lake for a while now. I wouldn't say he's been helping me so much, but we've met. I've been giving him some information here and there. Where the Wendigo's been, what it's been up to. Kind you, of. you told me that you, you didn't want me going after the Wendigo. You told me that you didn't want me chasing after it because I was I was too crazy but but you do this because it was after you I didn't want you walking right to it logically speaking having the person it wants go after it just kind of just makes it his job I say it wants all of us not me it doesn't want Ryan it, I mean at this point it's probably very annoyed with Ryan he lost his silver blade to it we fought up at the cave it managed to disarm me. My eye got gouged in the process. A guy could hit all mine. Regular lead bullets isn't gonna do anything. It'll stun him. You're crazy. <laughs> lead bullets won't kill it, but it'll it'll stun the Wendigo. Because it does not yet have The only form. thing that's gonna kill it is this. You're right. Silver is yeah. the only thing that'll kill it. But the lead will stop it temporarily. Just long enough to get away. <laughs> or do whatever we want to do, really. Okay. So. Okay, so well, tell me, may, no, tell me it what may happens not. when we run into it, and we shoot it, you know, a few times, tickle it, we unload it, run. Exactly, we are not yet prepared to fight it, can't even run. with the silver dagger, we can't do not. run from a moment ago. Because it does not have the physical form, it does not have all its supernatural abilities, it is just a spirit. It moves around, and it can shape you, it can shape you into a human, and that form it takes becomes its new form. It cannot change its physical properties any further than what it is. So say if it were to take the form of you, it would only be and have the skills of you until it gains its true physical form again. The only but reason why point, it was able to hurt me is because I was stupid enough to give the blade to Ryan, who has some talent behind his blade. Precisely. So you're the one who almost got me killed. So. Next time you should aim for the neck. <laughs> that would have been very bad indeed. Let's just say I'm glad you don't have quite enough skill to aim that high. He's not an Amazon. <laughs> Be thankful he's not that, at least. Because then you would have already been dead before you met. I suppose so. Tell me, where do we go from here? Are these ours? Or is this another trick? These are mine. These aren't ours. These are mine. They could carry that pistol. I do want it back when we're done with this shit. With any luck, you'll get a Wendigo pelt and your gun back. But I want you to have something. This, uh, this research that Powell uh, left for me, he, uh, he, he left it for me, but you're his, his student, you're his apprentice, so to say, and I think you should be the one to hold on to it, but, but, if you try to pull anything over on me or on Ryan, this is going straight in your head. I have no reason to attack you at the moment. 
At the moment. What yes. does that mean? At the moment. What does that mean? For all I know, you could be the Wendigo. But at the same time, I know that's not true. I can assure you, I'm not the Wendigo. And I can assure you, I know that. So, for the moment, until for, for further proven otherwise, we're allies. Understand? I suppose so. You did, after all, save my life. How long was I out for again? Three days. So Three days. As, as I said, the banishment only worked for a day and a half, so as far as I know, it's probably still watching us. Maybe even across the lake. Whoa. Well then, I say we get to work. Where right. do we start first? Well, there is a there is a small forest to the east. It's quite a ways away. I'm going to see if I can get a ride for you two to get over there. I'll meet you over a ride. there. We already have one. His scion. Scion's not going to cut it. It's too far away. Plus, gas is only like a quarter full. I'm not going to make it. How far out are we from civilization? Uh, good 200, 300 miles or so. so what's, this, what's this ride you have in, in mind? Is it a boat? On top of owning a bunch of quite illegal armaments, I own you a have a sniper plane. rifle. Yeah. I own a private jet. Not jet, but plane. Let me see if I can call up my friend and, give him, and see if he can give me two a ride. I'll meet you guys out there when I get the chance. I just need to recollect everything here so the one to go doesn't go through my crap. I don't like things going through my crap. Are you going to be safe? Working. I'll be fine. I did save your life after all. Yeah. You did. It's too bad. I couldn't repay. Repay the favor. Wendigo, Powell, you, I'm to blame for all of it. I don't think that's quite true. You don't? It was my own stupidity that led the Wendigo to me. I may not have known Powell, but from how you've talked about him. The Wendigo almost took your life, it almost took mine, and you're still not freed of it. Three years later, all this stuff is still happening. For now. But we're better equipped than we were back then. Are we? Yeah. We know what we're up against. We have all those weapons. We'll focus on getting my blade back, which has a little bit more reach than that. You have a silver line blade? When I was fighting the Wendigo, it was able to disarm me. It got a good hit off, but it fleed with its life. In the process, my eye was gouged. Schwartz where I was going shortly before. Didn't take him long to find us. If... Why did you go out without me? It's like he said. 
bringing the person the Wendigo wants straight to it. It's the worst idea in the world. I had to get to it before it got to you. What does it want from me? We don't know. At least, not yet. You told him about my dreams. About my visions. I don't know the specifics of your visions. But I figured you'd be having them. And I figure they have to do with our first adventure all those years ago. Am I correct? They've never stopped. Never since. Ever since that day. They got stronger as we neared those woods where Powell died. It makes sense. I can't believe I was so stupid. You know, Powell told me he saw Schwartz on that mountain. And I told him, you know, Wendigos can shapeshift. And then like two days later, you know, same forest, same woods, same area. They can shapeshift, yes. But the spirit of a Wendigo will have a harder time shapeshifting into somebody who's already dead. He did mention Schwartz looked different, and from his description he gave to me, he looked nothing like what that Schwartz looks like. The Wendigo had probably transformed into an earlier version of him from the last time it had seen him. The last time it had seen me was up the cave when we fought. So it had me down almost to a T, I imagine. That would explain why it didn't have any weapons or anything on it. No supplies, going on a walk. You know what it told me? You know what it told me? Before Pal died, it said, Oh, I'm just out here on a walk. The trailhead's a few miles up. We were hiking two days. And you know what? He didn't... He didn't burn Powell, did he? Did he say he was going to? He said the only way the ritual can successfully be completed is if the stump is covered in blood, someone gives their life, and the stump with that person on it is then burned. That's the only way. No ritual. Therefore, no reason to burn. He got devoured, didn't he? Unfortunately, that's more than likely. I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry I brought you into it, I'm sorry I brought all of this on you. I brought myself into it by going after that thing. Don't blame yourself for my own decisions. Let's go back to Schwartz. Let's see if he's been updated about his, uh, pilot. Huh? Yeah. Need a hand? Only have one eye. Nah, I got it all. There's a field a couple miles that way. You should take the car and use whatever gas you have left in it to get to that field. I'll pick you up there. It doesn't have a seaplane to land in the lake, so that's the best next that's the next best option. Are we safe? You will be. As I said, I'll wrap up a couple things that I have here and then I'll Where's the plane gonna take us to? Not quite sure yet. Uh, I'll know when I get I'll know when I'm I'll give Ricky instruction for me in the air. Are we going to meet up with you again? You will. At, the, at said location. Cool.
will need this. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> Safe travels. Likewise. Indeed. Indeed. If you try to double cross us, I meant what I said. I will kill you. And I meant what I said. I will kill you. Then we should have no problem. We should. Hold on tight to that research. I haven't gotten able to uh, get through it all yet, but there's some good stuff in there. I'll make sense of what it is. One last thing before we go. You mentioned something about Wendigo psychosis. You said I, I have it? Yes. It's... How long do I have? And what does it do? I'm not entirely sure what it does, but aside from what you've experienced. As far as I know, it's not lethal. So you should be safe for now. Um, but that's about all that I was able to get before Pal had to leave. Just try and keep your wits about you, and you should be fine. As long as you don't let your thoughts take control of what of your actions, you should be safe to wander the free. Perfect. I want you to look into that more for me. Oh, I will. Something tells me there's more to this than what everyone thinks. Undoubtedly. I'll see what I can pull up. Hang tight. Be safe. Oh, well. We can't lose another one. And, uh, thanks, you know, the whole saving a life thing. Saving your life, yeah. That's, that's kind of important. I owe you one. You definitely do. I will keep you to that. Let's get to our field. I will Indeed. keep you to So that's where you've been. What? Hello. I sent Chad on a little trip with another friend of mine. Let's have a talk, you and I. See, I don't know what your name is, if you have a name, or what you, what language you Wendigo speak. So I'll just call you Rick for now. How does that sound? My name. Is ratting on gay Don. So gay, I'll call you gay for now. Okay, good to know. So listen here, buddy. I don't know what you plan to do with Chad. He seems like a pretty good guy. I mean, yeah, he's got some flaws, a bit of an ego, but that can be worked around. I don't know what you want with him. Although I will find out. I know exactly what Powell knows. And much more, too. That idiot scientist. That idiot scientist was my father. I will rip your spine out when I get the chance. Right now, eh, not in the mood. So, buddy, the next time we meet, you better hope I'm not ready. The next time you and me meet, you better hope I don't have any silver. Ah! <sighs> 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 <sighs>